What is going on guys? It's Forsaken Elite here and today I'm going to be giving you guys some tips on how to do good or better at least at Blacklight Retribution. The gameplay in the background is actually a live gameplay. So everything that I'm saying I'm doing at the same time as I'm playing. Um, <laughs> let's time to get ready to start off. Anyhow, to... It's on, there's only actually a very simple tips to get better at this game and I'm going to start off with some of the easiest ones. Um, tip, one, tip number one would be simply get a different iron sight because the iron sight that they started you off with isn't really necessarily my favorite or well yes my favorite or the best in general and uh, or even one of the best. So changing that iron sight can actually really improve your accuracy because I found out that when I was using the assault rifle, I wasn't, like when I first started the game using the assault rifle, I was going okay, but when I changed my iron sight to an actual scope, which I'll show you guys one of my favorite scopes in a moment, oh my god, I'll show you guys one of my favorite scopes in a moment, um, once I get killed once again, I'll switch to it, yes right now, alright, so, you don't want to change your sight, which will boost accuracy a lot, actually. So one of my favorite scopes is I don't know the name of it, but you guys would be able to see it. It's the hollow. It's the one that looks like an A card and a hologram, holographic sight at the same time, and it really helps with accuracy. Now I don't really know much about the ammo, like the ammo types, like flame and toxins, but I do know that. I use the flame one, I feel like it might do something more to like suits and toss into something for I don't know if it, I feel like flame does more damage for the suits when people are inside of suits and toss into more for people who are outside of suits and just like long distance. That's my opinion, I don't really know to be honest. But besides the sites, there's being a GP Risley. GP is this game's in-game currency, and if you're playing game, you probably already know that. But GP is this in-game currency, and as you guys may also know, is it sucks. It's really difficult to earn. Like, if you get things cost about 100, 1,400 GP if you want it permanently, and you get about 126 GP per game, which isn't really oh no, which isn't really useful. Oh my god. That amount of GP isn't useful. It'll take you about 10 or so games. It'll take you about 10 to 15 games just to buy one upgrade for your gun. And guns, full guns, that cost around 8,500 GP, which is a lot. So, yeah, spend your GP wisely. Know what you want on your gun. Because once you buy it, if you're going to buy it permanently, then you're going to lose a lot of money for it. Okay. That's weird. You're gonna lose a lot of money, um, a lot of GP for that, and you don't want to have wasted your money and then have to buy something totally different. Um, so spend your GP wisely, get a new site. Also, know your surroundings. Um, in this gameplay, I haven't really used my site. As you see right there, if I had it, I would just ran straight into this man. But yes, know your surroundings because that kind of plays out as your wall hack technically. You use your wall hack a lot, or your HB, it's whatever people call it, for a teammate. Okay. Use your wall hack a lot, because if you use your wall hack a lot, you will know where people are, and that will essentially help you. And when you get char when you do get enough GP to buy character gear, you're going to want to try to focus on character gear that boosts your, that boosts, what the heck? That'll boost your wall hack op um, accessibility. Like, for me, I have... The gear I'm using allows me to hack things faster. So that so usually capping zone would be four hacking nodes, but because my gear I can hack it in just two. I can hack it in just two and be oh thank you. I can hack it in just two and since I can hack it in just two, it also gives me uh, more HD recovery. So once I once I use it, I get it back. Faster than most normal people would, so I can just look around my surroundings even more often, excuse me. Oh crap. L. I almost forgot about this. Change your secondary. The 
sec the primary secondary, like the starter's pistol in this game is extremely useless. Like literally the starter pistol in this game is considered to be like a pea shooter and that's completely understandable. It takes I believe it does forty damage. Forty or thirty five damage per shot, which is like five shots, five or six shots to get a kill. Saw you there. And that's a lot of shots when you compare it to somebody who has an automatic gun which might do five or six shots to get a kill as well, but it's automatic. And usually you're gonna be using your sidearm up close. So yeah, make sure you change your secondary to something more powerful, like a shotgun, um even a machine gun pistol is actually very useful. Even though it goes down to 35 damage, it's extremely useful because it's full auto. When you get inside of a game and you are actively playing game, you're going to want to check your daily contracts. Your daily contracts will give you a major boost in CP. I mean not CP, in GP. And also, thing on CP, CP, when you get into a game, you're going to want to spend your CP off. Me. This is kind of like kill trick for Call of Duty players. You're going to want to spend it, and I recommend saving up for a suit, because a suit is going to essentially give you a suit, actually. It'll, oh, I died. That's not good. The suit will essentially give you a massive suit that will boost, that like, give you invincibility technically until like, it runs out. I gotta take my suit. As you guys can see, I wasn't paying much attention, so uh, I've actually saved up a lot, a lot of CP, and I can buy another suit, and I'll get killed this time with the gun. Okay. That just wow, what did that good actually? The suit is extremely powerful. And I say I recommend that you leave your suit around 2,000 or 5,000, 2,000 to 5,000 HP left on it. You're gonna want to leave the suit because it, it it can really get taken down really quick. When you have those people who have rocket launchers and are actually trying to take down your suit, like when you have a team that's trying to take down your suit. But most of the time, when you get a suit, there be just about one or two people trying to take down your suit, or another suit trying to take down your suit, and if that happens, just most people don't focus fire on that suit and double fire using both the uh, minigun and the slug round the missile which is actually really useful for when you are in a suit trying to attack another suit it'll actually give you a better boost and you guys are gonna see that I'm about to lose this suit fight because I have to reload oh, I might actually ran for it I gotta see if I ran this I'm probably gonna lose oh my god He's really close with his suit. I can I won. I beat him in my suit and my suit was already hurt. Alright. Oh, there's a guy there. Alright. As you guys can see, I haven't died in a while now because I've had this suit and this suit is extremely powerful. Um So I've given you guys the advice of changing your sight. Oh yeah, increase your magazine because in this game, since you have wall hacks and you can see everywhere on the map, a lot of people will be coming after you, which means you're gonna have a lot of confrontation, you're gonna wanna have a lot of ammo to fight those people off. So even if it slows your reload off, just increase your magazine at two to maximum capaci capacity, cause that'll really give you an edge in a gunfight for those people who will essentially jump you with their teammates. Those people, who, those people who would jump you with their teammates, I mean, sometimes you're gonna lose because sometimes you won't be able to kill one of them fast enough, or maybe you will, and they just both get enough shots on you to kill, kill you off. And I should actually be leaving this suit very soon, but I don't see another suit, so I'm gonna be stupid, and I'm gonna keep it. You see, rocket, right now I'm at 2,000 life points, 2,140, which is essentially enough for them to kill me with just one rocket launcher. Though I'm not sure any of them know this, and they would probably. Oh, okay. So, yes. Those are the tips, and. Those are just some a few tips as to how to get better at Blacklight Retribution. So, let's rehearse these. Spin your GP wisely. Change your reticle. Oh, speaking of reticle. Change your crosshair as well. Is there something more suitable because the crosshair isn't very useful? Change your reticle, change your crosshair. Spin your GP wisely. And make sure you spend your CP in game. And also focus on boosting your wall hack accessibility. And that's all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it and hope these tips helped you.
see you guys in the next video.